George H. W. Bush to vote for Clinton, reports say. George H. W. Bush may have made up his mind about who will get his vote come November. Kathleen Hardington Kennedy Townsend saw the former Republican president on Monday and was told he would vote for the Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton. According to reports from Politico and The Guardian, both reports cite a Facebook post by Townsend in which she is seen shaking hands with Bush 92 with a caption that reads, The president told me he's voting for Hillary. Townsend's posts are set to private and USA Today has not been able to verify the Facebook post. Jim McGrath, a spokesman for the Bush family, told The Guardian the vote President Bush will cast as a private citizen in some 50 days will be just that, a private vote cast in 50 days. He is not commenting on the presidential race in the interim. The Bush family has remained largely quiet on the subject of the 2016 elections. However, Bush did say he would not endorse Trump. And neither would his son former Republican President George W. Bush. At age 91, President Bush is retired from politics, a spokesman for Bush 41 told the Texas Tribune in May. He came out of retirement to do a few things for Jeb, but those were the exceptions that proved the rule. Former Florida Gov. Jeb Bush was one of the 16 Republican presidential candidates during the primaries, but his bid for the White House ended in February when he suspended his campaign. Like Clinton, Bush was largely seen as an establishment candidate who would continue the Bush reign, following in the footsteps of his father and brother. One member of the Bush family who has made her feelings about Trump known as Barbara Bush, H.W.'s wife. I don't know how women can vote for someone who said what he said about Megyn Kelly. It's terrible, she told CBS in February, and we knew what he meant too. However, she has not said who will get her vote on election day. If the former president is voting for Clinton, he would be joining a group of Republican leaders supporting the Democratic nominee. There's Larry Pressler, the former senator from South Dakota and a moderate Michael Bloomberg former New York City mayor, and Gordon Humphrey, a former senator from New Hampshire, among others.